All right, we had a warm one there for about three fourths of the practice today, so um, it's good, and we need it. It's got to you know test our test our mental capacity and ability to focus, and we got a little bit of adversity. So um, you know, got uh, well into our Appalachian State game plan today, uh, full padded practice. Uh, so it was a good, you know, good workout out there. Um, had a very sharp day yesterday. So, uh, you know, gotta, gotta keep on building and, uh, improving. Uh, gotta, gotta have a good solid week this week and then we'll start game week Friday. Is it all App State this week or anything? All App State. Yeah, all App State. We go a little bit against each other just to get the good on good speed. Uh, but the schemes are all App State. So even the stuff we're doing good on good, we, you know, get together and, you know, try to match it up as best we can. What does that do, obviously, with the scout team or guys kind of figuring out? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it's, that's the, it's the, it's the, you know, yesterday's probably the toughest day of the year for the young guys, um, because all of a sudden they go from, you know, thinking, you know, that they're, you know, gonna, you know, be out there on the field playing and, and, and some of them may, may very well be before the year's over. I told the Taji Hudson story, you know, he was on the scout team, you know, for about half the year last year and all of a sudden, I mean, he kept on doing such a great job. We put him on special teams, ended up starting on multiple special teams down the stretch. Um, you know, other, other guys have done the same thing. So, um, you know, it's, to me, the thing is, you know, it's like, it's like a couple of our guys are going to travel on the O line. They're on the scout team. And I told him, I said, you know, if you, if you don't, if you don't bust your rear end, number one, you're not helping our defense prepare. Number two, you're not getting any better. And that's, that's the thing. You got to push yourself to get better every single day. Every practice, every rep you're out there, you push yourself to be the best that you can be. And that's the only way you make it to reach your full potential. And that's, you know, something we've tried to drill into them in my time here. And we've gotten a, a ton better at it. But young players really struggle with it. You know, it's, it's hard going from being the guy that was the star of the high school football team to now all of a sudden you know, you're fourth or fifth on the depth chart and you're, and you're on the scout team. It's, it's tough. It's challenging. But it, that adversity is something that's so, so good for maturity. And that's, you know, a lot of people can't understand that. I mean, it's, we've all been there where all of a sudden we weren't the guy and you had to go through trials and tribulations and, and tough times to earn your way out onto the field. I mean, Macy O'Donnell did it for three years here, you know, before he ever made it to the point where he's seeing action, okay? But the same guy showed up every single day. The same guy on the practice field every single day. And that's the only, that's the only way you're going to achieve. And the guys that can't do that, they're the ones you continually ask me questions about, and I keep telling you, well, you know, he's not there yet. I usually ask you this a couple times every camp, but I mean, are you on schedule to where you where you want to be right now, or are yeah. you behind? Or? No, no, we're we're right on schedule. So uh, you know, we're you know we're installing the App State game game plan uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We'll have a a mock kind of walkthrough simulation game, very light on them on Thursday. And then we'll start game week on uh, on Friday. So Friday will be our normal Sunday. Have you guys decided on the backup quarterback at this point? Uh, Mason Garcia will be our backup going into the game. So, you know, he you know, I thought he did some good stuff at practice yesterday. He looked much more comfortable. Um, you know, it's it, he's continuing to improve. Uh, you know, Ryan Stubblefield's going to be there to push him also. He, so he's getting some reps with the twos as well. Um, but, you know, that's, that, that's, the problem. that's where we're at right now. And yeah, I was very, I was very pleased with Alex Flynn today. He did a great job. He did a great job of simulating, you know, Appalachian State's uh, offense today. Will you guys travel with three quarterbacks or four? Is that still? We'll travel three? with at least three. Okay. On special teams, how do you feel just overall about those units? And is that something that can impact a first game like this? Do you think? Well, I feel, I feel like we're getting better every day. Uh, I think we still have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, early in the season, it's always. You know, it's always the challenge because you can only you can only get so many live reps, uh, special teams wise. So, um, you know, that's a big emphasis this week. Uh, you know, it should be something that's a strength this year. We have so many more guys that can run on our roster, and the uh, and the guys that are coming back with experience on special teams. You know, it should be something that's a strength this year. Coach, can you talk about the defense? How they're looking right now? Well, I thought I thought they looked very good on Saturday. I thought they were sloppy as piss today. You know, I guess that's what happens when you know you go sit around with guys and they tell you how freaking good you are. You go out there and you, you forget what made you good. So you know they've got to practice like the way the way we want to practice, and we got to be good thud tacklers, and we can't listen to all this crap that people are saying all of a sudden. You know, we got to we got to you know drown out some of the noise that's in our, in our ears. Kicking job is that still? 
to be determined too, or is that kind of a... I, I think Owens, I think Owens done a, a pretty good job of, of, of winning that competition. I mean, that's right where we are. I mean, if something may change this week, but I didn't, I didn't see it today and I didn't see it Saturday. He's been very consistent. Uh, his operation times have been very, very good. Um, I, I'm happy with all three of our young kickers. Um, but you know, it's, 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 again, it's just like everything else. It's, it's hard making that transition from high school to college. So at least Owen has a year of experience under his belt. How much, I guess, I don't know if nervous is the right word, but none of those guys that are kicking a lot of games. So no. Kind of if you've ever met Owen, he, he ain't real nervous about anything. I mean, I, he's kind of a classic surfer, surfer dude, you know, so he, I think I say it in a positive way also. I mean, he just, he's kind of unflappable to a degree. I mean, I, I say all kinds of off the wall stuff to him as they're sitting back here getting ready to kick, and he just I mean, he just uh, oblivious to it. So, which is good. When you talk about the defense, it, so much it seems like with Coach Harold that stopping the run is the first priority. When you look at the first opponent, that obviously makes sense. If yeah. you can stop the run, you're going to have a good day. I mean, is that a big emphasis from here? You know, well, I mean, that's. I mean, you look at the past several national champions. You know, it, run the football, stop the run. That doesn't mean we're not going to throw it. I mean, we're, I want to throw it a lot. You know, I've, I've got talented receivers. I love my quarterback. I mean, I want to be very, very balanced. But, you know, if you want to win and win consistently, you better be able to run the football and you better be able to stop the run. And nothing has never been more important than in this first game. Now, we all know that what they're going to do, they're going to play action and throw it as far down the field as they can early in the ball game to try to loosen us up. But, you know, so we've got to be disciplined and we've got to play the pass well also. Anything else? All right. Thanks a lot. Good to see you guys. What's up, Pirate Nation? East Carolina football is almost here, and we can't wait to get back to a packed and rowdy Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. The Pirates' six-game home schedule features SEC foe South Carolina and last year's champion of the American, the Cincinnati Bearcats. Maybe you haven't secured your season tickets or you'd like a couple more. The Sports Objective season ticket giveaway will ensure that some lucky fan will have two tickets to every home game this season. If you're watching this video, you're already on our YouTube channel, so to enter the contest, simply click subscribe, then after clicking subscribe, screenshot the page showing you've done so, and email that screenshot, as well as your first and last name and phone number, to thesportsobj at gmail.com. Again, screenshot the page showing you subscribe, then send that, as well as your first and last name and phone number, to thesportsobj at gmail.com. Do this between now and 11.59 p.m. on Monday, August the 30th, and you'll have a chance to win. The winner will be announced on the evening of Tuesday, August 31st on our Pirate Preview for the App State game. That show will be able to be seen live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and the winner will also be posted on all of our social media accounts. Be sure to follow us on social media, at the Sports OBJ on Twitter and TikTok, at the Sports Objective on Instagram, plus like and follow our Facebook page. As always, we appreciate your support of the Sports Objective. Be sure to stay tuned for other promotions and excellent content throughout the 2021 football season.